In problem number 41, we'd like to evaluate the limit, uh, limit as x goes to infinity, of ln of 3x plus 5 divided by ln of 7x plus 3 plus 1. Okay, uh, so the very first thing we need to do is, again, we need to figure out, is this a situation in which L'Hopital's rule is appropriate or inappropriate? So we need to go ahead and plug in the infinity and see what kind of a form we're looking at. Is this an indeterminate form or not? <clears throat> so let's see what we've got here. If I plug in infinity, I get 3 times infinity, which is infinity, plus 5 is infinity, and ln of infinity is infinite. So we, on top, we get something infinite. On bottom, I get ln of, again, infinity plus 1. That's also infinite. So we do have a form infinity over infinity, which is an appropriate form to use L'Hopital's rule on. So let's go ahead and do so. Uh, so I can say that this is equal to, we rewrite the limit, limit as x goes to infinity, of the derivative of the top. Now. The derivative of the top, uh, we know how to take the derivatives of ln of something. It's the derivative of this thing over this thing. So the derivative of 3x plus 5 is 3 divided by 3x plus 5. Okay, That's the derivative of the top. The derivative of the bottom, the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of ln of 7x plus 3 is the derivative of this guy, 7, divided by this guy, which is 7x plus 3. Okay, uh, we have a fraction divided by a fraction, so we could simplify this a little bit and rewrite. So let's do that real quick. So this is the limit as x goes to infinity of 3 divided by 3x plus 5 times uh, 7x plus 3 divided by 7. Okay, uh, and the question is, uh, what is the limit here as x goes to infinity? Well, uh, there are two ways that we could do this. We could say, okay, should I use L'Hopital's rule on this guy again? Uh, and that is an option. Uh, because we could see that if we look at what's, if I plug in infinity to the top, I get infinity. And if I plug in infinity to the bottom, I get infinity. So this still has the form infinity over infinity. Uh, and we could use L'Hopital's rule on it again, and maybe we should. So this has a, the form infinity over infinity. So we could use L'Hopital's rule again. And what we would get is the limit as x goes to infinity of, um, well, the derivative of the top, remember there is this 3 times this 7, so the derivative of the top is 21. On the bottom, I have this 3 times this 7, so the derivative of the bottom is 21. And obviously the limit as x goes to infinity of 21 over 21 is just 1. And so we get our answer. Uh, that's perfectly reasonable to take the derivative of top and bottom here. But what I also could have done is I know that from the past, I know how to take the limit as x goes to infinity of something where the highest power of x on top and bottom are the same. I just take the coefficient in front of the x on the top and the coefficient in front of the x on the bottom, which would be 21 over 21, and I'd get exactly the same thing. So in this case, I could have used L'Hopital's rule, which I did, to get the 1. I also could have just used kind of some of my knowledge of limits to get the answer, which is 1. So whatever you want to do at this point, that's perfectly acceptable.